everyone's having a blessed Sunday. So today I'm going to do my top seven March plants. Um, I think I'm going to start doing that every month at the end of each month. I'll do seven plants that, uh, that stick out. For the month for that particular month it doesn't mean that they're my all-time favorite because all my plants are my favorites but um these plants stuck out because they pretty much shocked me uh they taught me some things uh each one of these plants so um we're looking at right now is the sansevieria parva and the reason she sticks out is her flower. This is the only Sansevieria that I have that has a flower coming out. She did have a little, like it was a little, it was, she was, you know, growing uh, a flower when I got her, but I totally did not know that she was going to grow a big flower and I totally did not know that it had a smell. And it's a beautiful smell. But I definitely will be doing her on one of the plant feature, uh, my plant feature Tuesday series. But today I'm just basically going to go over their names and say why they stuck out. So that's why she stuck out to me is because of her long flower. And it just keeps... It's blooming. Um, she's in bloom. So these little guys are opening up each day. There's a new one opening. So this is her, uh, you know, and trust me, this, it smells wonderful. Like I did not know, like you can all, like you, what more can Sansevierias do? <laughs> like, uh, so their blooms actually have a great smell to them and her flower is so pretty too it's a bunch of little flowers actually but she is in bloom um she's blooming she was she had just started uh, uh basically her this flower when i got her was about i want to say like i said about right there and it hadn't even it was closed so every day I'm looking at her and I'm like, wait, you're opening up every day. It's a new, she's getting bigger and bigger. And then on top of that, it's like this little thing coming up out of here. Um, another little plant uh, rising out of here, which I will go over all that when I do her on my plant feature. But this flower smells amazing. It it will have your whole place smelling just amazing. You don't even need a, um, you don't need any air fresheners because she's the air freshener. So this is my first one, and this is the Sansevieria Parva. Next runner up is my Platinum Peace Lily, Platinum Mist Peace Lily. The reason she is on the top seven March plants uh, is because this is starting to come up and it's a flower. I, when I bought her, I really got her for her foliage because she had, she's totally different than any of the peace lilies that I've seen. Um, her leaves are like a platinum silver. It, it's got a silver tint to it. Um, and she's really, really beautiful. She doesn't give you much problems. But um, yeah, so I was under the impression that peace lilies do not flower. Um, especially, you know, generally when you get them in the stores, they have a flower coming up or it's like a, you know, a bud. Uh it's, you know, a blossom or a bud starting off, um, or they're already flowered, which their flowers don't smell, <laughs> but anyhow, um, so yeah, uh, well, I don't know if her flower is going to smell good or not because the other peace lilies, they generally don't have a, uh, you know, they don't really have a smell to them, but 
we never know when she pops this um, flower out. I'll know. But yeah, I was under the impression that when you buy them from the store, they give them hormones or they give them some type of, not hormones, but some type of um, fertilizer that the public has no uh, access to. And so it's hard to get them to bloom. I haven't did nothing with this girl. Like she sits, she gets bright and direct light. She gets watered. Um, I let her leaves. She really will, you know, let her leaves fall out. What I did do was I kept thinking, you know, she got to get watered. I know they can, you can overwater them too. So it's best to let their soil dry all the way out. And that's really the best thing that I do for her. I always hear that people say they want water, water, water. I let them tell me when they need water or I don't even wait to that point uh, letting her leaves hang down because it does kind of mess it up like um there's like older leaves it kind of got a little tough at the end but her leaves are really soft and delicate and pretty but um I just notice this like I thought it was another leaf coming up and then when I seen it was white I was like wait wait a minute so yeah so she didn't have a flower when I got her um and I've had her for a while I've had her since I want to say October of 2018 um I got her at Lowe's and she didn't have a flower but she proved me wrong and proved a lot of other people that I was listening to that you know, and I was even at the point like, oh, well, if she doesn't flower, um, that's fine. I haven't gave her any extra light. I haven't given her any fertilizer. I haven't even fertilized her, actually. Um, I just water her. Um, I do underwater her and put her, you know, I will. Some of my plants, I do that with pretty much all of them. But then I do give them a good leech also through the month. But anyhow... So this is why she sticks out for, and she made it on the seven, the top seven plants for March 2019 is because she's about to flower. So yeah, peace lilies do flower and you don't have to do much. I haven't given her any special care and she didn't even have a flower when I got her. I didn't even see them cut a flower off of her. So I didn't even know if this one actually had flowers, but she does. She's about to pop one out. So she is on the list. So that's her, the Platinum Miss Peace Lily. Next is my Monstera Silta Pecana. This girl was struggling when I first got her. Um, I had to put her in water. I had got her from Steve's Leaves. I actually, she has a twin sister that uh, was struggling. I had to put her in water. It was like cuttings, basically. Um, a lot of them died. I had to cut off a lot. I lost pretty much half of the cutting. And repotted her, put her in this pot. It's like a clay pot with a drainage hole. Um, and I potted her up in her, her twin sister's doing good. But this one's actually more fuller. And she's just grown so much from March of 2019. She's grown quite a bit. And she just keeps growing. And she's just doing so good. And I had to go ahead and give her, put her in the top seven uh, plants for March of 2019. And this is, once again, the Monstera Silta Pecana. I finally got the name down. So Monstera Silta Pecana. So um, yeah, she's been growing really good. I'm so happy I repotted her, put her, um, her, you know, the ones that was in the water because I had like some just sitting in um, pumice rocks almost. And then I had one in water and she has so much new growth like there were only a few leaves when I planted her up on top of the cutting. And I mean, the one that I had in water. And this is what she's just 
booming, booming, booming with so many new leaves. And her leaves are so beautiful. Just, you know, art. Once again, art. <laughs> so, yeah. So, she got to make the list. Um, my monster is Silta Pecana. She's still a little girl. She's still little, but she's growing. And she's came a long way from when I first got her. Um, she's really doing good. So she gets to be on the list for the top seven of March. Next is this big old beautiful girl who was just in a three inch pot and trailing like she's just a grown woman and she's still a baby but yeah she's grown a lot this is my philodendron brazil and she has this this is her little trailing you know she's trailing um she's grown some in the middle too um but yeah this is my philodendron brazil and she's grown quite a bit. I put her inside of this terracotta pot and she loves it. Um, I had to cut, like I, when I repotted her, I cut off a lot of leaves cause like there was a lot of leaves that were damaged when I first got her. So what I did was I um, just let her grow and then I went ahead and potted her up. Um, she does have like two green leaves from when she was getting um, she wasn't getting that much sun, but now, uh, after those two green leaves, she did grow this one and this leaf right here. Um, and then she has one coming up out of here or actually two leaves. It looks like coming up out of here. So she's doing really good. And this side also is growing quite a bit. So she's gotten really big. Um, and I want her to trail, so I'm not tripping. I, you know, if the vines are, um, if she's got just a little bit, but she do got, she's grown a lot in the middle because she really didn't have that much. It was like two vines, really. Um, when I repotted her, um, when you repot any type of vining plants, most of the times, well, not even most of the times, they're all coming from cuttings. So, um, you'll see when you repot, like what the plant really is. And she was really like two, uh, vines, but she's got some two. she's got a lot growing in here too. So, um, yeah, so this is my biggest philodendron Brazil and she's growing quite a bit, um, way a lot. <laughs> She was just a little baby and now she's grown this much. So she gets to be on the top um, seven philodendrons. And I call her the Brazilian philodendron in the terracotta because uh, there's some that are in terracotta and then some are just in different pots. So then they all have their own character, you know, to them. But anyhow, so she got to make the list. So, and this is my ginger in Brazil. She's so pretty. So, so pretty. So many new leaves from, I cut, when I say I had to cut a lot of her leaves, I cut a lot, but I had kept some just so, uh, she, until she grew and filled out. And then she just gave me a bunch of leaves, but these leaves are so pretty. Like each leaf, actually, it looks like a different design. Even the green ones, you know, they say to cut your cut it the green ones so that it doesn't revert. I'm not going to do that. She worked hard to push out these two beautiful heart leaf green leaves. And she still put out some variegated ones after that. So she's fine. So anyhow, that's her. My philodendron Brazil. Next is my Cebu Blue. She has a twin sister also. Um, it's just this one's a lot bigger, has grown a lot more. She was also struggling. I got her also with the Steve's Leaves order, which I spent quite a bit. And then I go to Walmart and see a big old 15, well, they have them in 10-inch pots, and they wanted the same amount for 
one that was a full huge six inch pot to compare to this one some of her ends was messed up because she was severely overwatered. Um, but you know, it was winter time, it was cold. And so they had to, you know, I, that's my fault for ordering in the winter. So I'm not giving any, uh, any saying anything about Steve's leaves. They did replace, um, they gave me basically double of each. That's why they have twins, but uh, the other ones are struggling a little bit, uh, the other Cebu Blue, but this one's giving out new growths, new growths, all her new growths, um, you know, beautiful. I had to cut off, like I said, some of the ends because they were a little, it was overwatered and cold and, you know, it just went through its little stuff. It had to go through it, but it's pushing out so much and she's even trailing and, yeah, so she got to be on the um, on my list of top seven um, March plants, and this is my Cebu Blue Pothos. So, and she, I put her in her her sister and her have the same uh, pots, and um, they're twins, but she made the list. So maybe her sister might make it next month, but. This is her. She's got new growths coming out, coming out. She just keeps popping out new growths. And she's came a long way. She was way, came a long way. It has grown a lot, especially in the month of March. So this is my Cebu Blue Pothos. Next is my Burgundy Ripple Peperomia. She made the list because... This is one of, she didn't have these when I got her and she's flowering herself. And I never even knew once again, I didn't know that they, I would be able to let her flower, but she is starting to bloom. There's actually two little blooms she's got coming in. And she doesn't give me any issues. I'm about to repot her in a um, terracotta pot. I just wanted to get her a special color. Because um, I did, went crazy with terracottas on different colors. But I'll see what color she's. But she's definitely going in a terracotta pot. Um, so she's about to get repotted. I got to do a lot of repotting. But I'll do some videos also. But. I have a lot of repotting, more repotting to do. Um, so yeah, this is the Burgundy uh, Ripple Peperomia. And she has some little tiny flowers coming in. There they go. That's their flowering, at least, the Peperomias. And the, they're, they get pretty tall and then they fall off after a while, but... Yeah, I've never had a Peperomia do this for me. So that's why she got to be on the top seven um, March plants. So that's her, the Burgundy Ripple Peperomia with her little blooms coming in. And last but not least, <laughs> this girl has gotten a lot of attention. I've been giving her too much attention because of these big old pretty leaves she's been pushing out but this is my Hoya um, Rubra she has did a lot like I went from thinking I really didn't think she was gonna make it like I thought you know she wasn't growing I didn't know what was going on a lot of her leaves felt I had to take some of her leaves off so I was like oh I'm just this is gonna be it and then the month of March, I get these leaves, these beautiful pink leaves coming in and her trailing now. And this one's new. These leaves are all new. All this pretty much popped up for me for the month, month of March. These were the ones that I was like, wait, what? Like, out of the blue, she pushed this pink one out. But I guess they're going to end up turning. They end up turning green after a while. But she never pushed out any pink ones. So this was the 
these were the two first ones that I seen that were pink. And she's still a baby. But yeah, so she is the last on the seventh. She's the seventh, I guess, but it wasn't in no order. I just put them all in. But this is my Hoya. And she gave me these beautiful pink leaves. That I'm really appreciative of. And it's so cute. They're just so cute. Even though I know they're not going to last forever. But at least she she gave them to me. You know. And I was able to look at it. And especially as soon as spring started. So yeah. So she got to be on the list. And um, hope everyone enjoyed this video. Um, I will be trying to do this every month. Find seven plants at least that I paid. You know that showed me something different and maybe less than that or maybe more but this, I'm gonna at least stay at seven and under so thank you so much hope everyone has a blessed day thank you for watching bye